analytics. We all know they're important to building a successful app, which is why there are many different kinds of analytics tools for app developers to use. There are in-app behavioral analytics, which measure who your users are, what they're doing, and so on. And then you've got attribution analytics, which you can use to measure the effectiveness of your advertising and other growth campaigns, not to mention push notification analytics and crash reporting. But quite often, this work is being done by completely different analytics libraries, which means you've got reports living in various tools across the web, and trying to understand trends across these different reports, much less get them to talk to each other, isn't always easy. That's why we've created Google Analytics for Firebase. It's built from the ground up to provide all the data that mobile app developers need in one easy place. And it starts by giving you free and unlimited logging and reporting. That's right, no quotas, no sampling, and no paid tier to worry about. Simply by installing the Firebase SDK, Analytics automatically starts providing insight into your app. You receive demographic information on who your users are, how regularly they use your app, how much time they spend there, and how much they've spent in your app. But not all apps are alike, and you can get detailed information about what your users are up to by logging events specific to your app. These can include common events that Google Analytics for Firebase has already defined, like when your users add an item to their cart, and then there's support for custom events you create yourself, like when a user completes a workout in your fitness app, or when they take a selfie in your photo app. Jeez. But it's not just about seeing what your users are doing, it's also about discovering who your users are. So in addition to demographic information, you can discover how your different users behave differently by setting custom user properties. Have a music app and want to find out whether your classical music fans are browsing more albums than your jazz fusion fans? That's the kind of data you can easily break out thanks to custom user properties. And Google Analytics for Firebase doesn't just measure what's happening inside your app. It lets you combine your behavioral reporting, what your users are doing, with attribution reporting, or what growth campaigns are bringing people to your app in the first place. So if you want to know which ad campaigns are bringing you users who spend the most money or are sharing the app with their friends or have unlocked the last level in your game and are ready for the sequel, you can do all of that in Google Analytics for Firebase. But don't stop there. Once you have all this information, you can take action on it using audiences. Google Analytics for Firebase gives you the power to build up groups of users or audiences out of just about anything you can measure in your app. Want to target users in Brazil who have visited the sports section of your in-app store? It's as easy as a few clicks in the Firebase console. Once your app has built up this audience, you can then send them notifications using Firebase notifications, or you can modify their in-app experience using Firebase Remote Config, or you can target them through AdWords, Google's ad platform. And then because that impact can be measured using Google Analytics, you can confirm you're getting the outcomes you expect. Google Analytics for Firebase already comes with a dashboard that lets you view answers for common questions, but if you need more specialized analysis, you can export all your data into BigQuery, Google's data warehouse in the cloud, where you can run super fast SQL queries to slice and dice this data however you'd like. You can even combine it with other analytics data that you might be capturing. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what Google Analytics for Firebase can do for you. To find out more, check out our documentation here and give it a try.